From KY3 News, I'm Sarah Forhetz. Breaking news out of Nixa, a shooter is on the loose after a gunfight at Illusions Gentlemen's Club. Here's a look at the scene from last night. An engine fire quickly led to a school bus engulfed in flames. Check out the video. This was in Utah yesterday. That bus was on the way to pick up students near Salt Lake City when the driver noticed smoke pouring out of the vents. Breaking news this morning, video coming out of Syria reportedly showing multiple people, men, women, and children who were attacked by a chemical agent. The video you're about to see is disturbing to say the least. Authorities say dozens of people have lost their lives already. That number may climb even higher. We now know Friday storms produced four tornadoes here in Missouri. Take a look at them. This is a map from the National Weather Service and you can see uh, all four of them kind of in a row. These top two and this one are all EF1. So two in Texas County, kind of up near Licking in the northern part of the county. Then one in Wright County, that's an EF1. And then this yellow one is right on Highway 60. That one was the EF2. That's the biggest one. Watching it and then it was down there. Terrifying moments indeed. We now know no one has been killed by this rash of April tornadoes, but still extremely terrifying for those in the path. Take a listen to this teenager who was watching as that tornado ripped through. New information on a deputy's death in Miller County. The Sheriff's Department just released this picture of the deputy who was killed last night. Deputy Casey Shoemate. He was 26 years old. The Kansas City Chiefs secured their spot in the playoffs after their 33 to 10 victory over the Denver Broncos. This is the third time in four years the Chiefs have made the playoffs. They are in the wild card spot. Journey, uh, the arena rock band that made Don't Stop Believing any way you want it. Believe it. All right. Faithfully. Keep going. Several other major hits of the 1980s. Wait, what kind of dog is she? Uh, she's a little, a little bit kind of everything. Dog you'd like her to whatever be. you want her to be. <laughs> yes. We just need to get rid of her. Please, somebody <laughs> take her. City bus there. An out of control truck ended up stuck halfway into the bus. And it was several feet off the ground, just hanging there by the tires. Police say the driver was on an exit ramp when he swerved to avoid stop traffic. That video, hard to watch. As you can see, that's when he went off-road and on bus. The well, this year's Safe and Sound Saturday is in the books. We had a great time yesterday, a great turnout. Hopefully you made it out. You can check out our photo gallery on our KY3 Facebook page, also at KY3.com. Uh, here's one picture. KY3 is the place to be. What? Really no way to know, you know, where exactly these cells are going to line She's up. She's still getting a paycheck, though, people. I am, <laughs> but it's not associated with a front or anything. Right. This is an upper. We put it in a bowl now for the moment of truth. I got to get a good bite here. Yeah, you do. Eat. Spinach, come here. Mm -mm -mm. Disregard that, but otherwise it was amazing. <laughs> Pretty clear across Springfield. MoDOT did a great job yesterday. Kansas and Republic, the main thoroughfare here, uh, all smooth going. So you should be able to drive your regular speed once you get off the side roads, that is. Let's also check the MoDOT traveler information map just in case you're hitting the highways. See, back out live now, you can see these orange cones behind me. This is where the whole incident went down. It was an otherwise routine traffic stop, although uh, that's debatable among law enforcement that any of them are routine. We've got to reduce that crushing tax burden in order to produce only in America and not here and elsewhere and in the president's words to make America great again. The tax code he is getting ready any moment to be officially sworn in as Missouri's 56th governor. You hear the band playing behind me, the bell now going off, and you can see live on stage just over my shoulder as Eric Greitens and his wife sit there uh, waiting for their turn. Now, earlier this morning, just a few moments ago, Lieutenant Governor Mike Parson, Treasurer Eric Schmidt, Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft, and Attorney General Josh Hawley all inaugurated into office today on this very cold January day, thousands of people out here 